yes, welcome back to the show about with Simone RC, your girl, and yes, as always, season three has just been absolutely phenomenal. We've had so many of my extended family just pop it in to the satellite location at Pivwood Bridge, and yes, I have the list of fabulousness, my homeboys here. Yes, they are coming off of their feature film premiere that was at Tiff Lightbox, it's Recall. Amazing movies, lovely, y'all need to check it out. This is my homeboys from Recall. Tell them your names and what you do. Tommy James Murphy, I'm an actor. Uh, Michael James Regan, I'm an actor, producer. Andy Fetchy, I'm a writer, producer, also actor. All right. Yeah, thank you so much for coming to the show. I really appreciate it. The, I mean, because I know you're busy. You know, you had squeeze in time into my to the wonderful, beautiful place of Woodbridge. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have to fill the lovelies in. I had an opportunity, thank you very much, uh, a blessing to see your film. And I know that uh, it started as a small sh a short yeah. And it just blossomed into a feature film, yeah. and it is seamless. I could not tell Thank that you. it was a short that moved into a feature film. The editing was outstanding, um, and you got to tell the lovelies what is it about in a smort and they're like a little smort. I say a little small synopsis, a little smort, so that they can come and see it because they got to see it. Go. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like a little blurb. What would you tell somebody to say, yes, this is the reason why you gotta go see this movie? Uh it's seventy five minutes fast paced. Yeah. Um, you don't realize you're sitting in a seat for over an hour. Mm hmm And it's a good film, good story, great actors. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Some good there's, a lot, yeah. there's a lot of passion in this film. Very much so. A lot of passion. You can tell that we really put our time into it. Mm -hmm. You know, I agree. Um, something that I learned is perseverance. Yeah. And just actually pursuing it and not stopping until you have your final product. And how long did it take? That took us three years. Yeah. Now, I learned that from Mike, yeah. um, shadowing him. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot our of leader. stuff from Mike. Um, Actually, fearless basically, leader. Basically, yeah. 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 once we hooked up with Mike, the, the whole thing started to come together. Now, Mike, was this something that was incarnated in your brain? No. And you, okay, um, so where did this The story original come? project uh, was written by Andy and Tommy. Okay. okay. Uh, I met Tommy on set uh, years back, and he sh said he had this project. It was a short, uh, it was a heist short at the time. Um, and he brought it to me, and originally I was just helping out. I was just trying to finesse a script, you know, something basic, fairly, yeah. fairly basic at the time. Um, and next thing you know, uh, I mean, I don't, it all happened really quickly. I think it was in a few days I, I had rewritten it into a usable short. And then we decided, okay, we're going to shoot the short. And yeah. I think within a month and a half, I got together, you know, I, I, I put together the cast, the crew, and we had we already had our general locations. We didn't have everything, right. uh, we got, which is kind of weird. We probably should have considered that prior to shooting. Yeah. Um, but we <laughs> didn't. We thought we had everything, but we didn't. Um, but isn't that usual when it's going for an independent movie though? That yeah, it's just sure, but not for a. I don't think for a short film when you when you had planned to do you know eight nine days, mm. and uh, it was a high concept short. It was a right. thirty minute high concept short. I think we had most of the locations. There was just a few that we were we knew we'd be getting along the way. Um, okay. Yeah. Some didn't turn out, so we had to like that. Then we had to like finding new locations. And what happened was after the first, so I think within about a month and a half, we were already shooting. Like there was no prep. There was yeah, no read through. And that was yeah. it. And then yeah. next thing you know, we were, we're already quickly. shooting. We start next yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Jump face yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. And okay. then I think it was a five days into shooting or six. I don't even know anymore at this point. Um, it was, we had such good, such great shoot days. The footage looked amazing that it just was one of these things where we were already saying, okay, we're already over the 25 minute count. And, and, and we still have another, tw you know, 20, I don't know, 15 pages to shoot. So we, at wow. that point, we already knew it was going to be a feature. But the problem was that that script was only... 30 pages or 28 or whatever so okay. yeah, it was the whole project over the three years was pretty much it was writing as we went finding locations as we went finding crew shooting with a skeleton crew of i don't even know two to three people Correct. like our first three days we had 70 cast and crew it was a yeah. it was a legit yeah. production right and then i was like is this like anything else so it was all volunteer right the entire project the entire project was volunteer 
And this is why I do the show. You need to make sure to support your art and culture. Thank you. Sorry. No, Go ahead. Ahead. It's, it's get back at this point. Um, and it was one of those things where we just kind of stuck together and, and eventually over the course of three years uh, just slowly pieced it together because the thing is, you know, the, the longer it went, the longer between the shoot dates there would be. You know, oh, because yeah. right. everyone's volunteer, you have your DPs and mm-hmm. your, your crew working on set, you know, a legitimate set. They would be working on a, on a, paid, a paid gig and so they'd be gone for two months. Oh, so yeah. you'd be like, well, crap, we still have 10 shoot dates, and we're shooting once a month. How long is this going to take us? Well, it took it took as long as it needed to. We did a lot of reshoots, and there was a lot of things, too. It's like, I think from everyone's perspective, um, you do this project because it was a short-term feature. We learned as it went. Yeah. yeah. Literally. And therefore, yeah. what we do is that you kind of learn. It's, it's like that whole, you know, two steps forward, one step back. Mm-hmm. We would learn. We'd be like, oh, you know what? We actually learned what the story was starting to become as a feature because it was different. And you, again, you're making up as you went along. We have to say, oh crap, we have to add a scene here to make yeah. these two scenes make sense. B-roll. Yeah. Yeah. B-roll. What the yeah. heck is B-roll? Yeah. But then you shoot all this stuff and you realize, oh, okay, crap. Well, now we're becoming, you know, at that point, I think, uh, I don't even know how many months in, uh, Andy started working with me on the edit. I'd already started kind of working on the edit for quite a while. Yeah. And then we got better at editing together as a team. Uh, and then it was like, you'd edit and you become a better editor, so you go back and re-edit everything yeah, you did. Yeah. And then you realize, yeah, crap, literally. we actually need footage to merge these scenes together, yeah. but you didn't know that when you were shooting it originally, because you were learning as you went. Right. So yeah. it was a lot of, you know, this. Oh, I totally And therefore, by doing that. all of that, um, it took longer, because, right. you know, it, it, I became a better director as I went. That's what I was going to say. Everything yeah. became better. Like, you, you don't really, we learned things as we went, and you learned, okay, well, it's even for the writing, we're like, wait, this scene doesn't make sense. Okay, we need to rewrite this scene to make it make sense yeah. in the grand scheme of a feature now. Because, right. well, in the short, this would have made, no, you know, this is stuff you can kind of skip, it's not really relevant, but in the feature, no, you need, yeah. you need this backstory, yeah, you need right. these, these flashbacks, you need to these things to tell story. So we had to add that in and go, okay, great, that's lovely that we wrote the scene. Okay, where are we going to shoot it? Right. Oh, the actor I want for it, he's shooting a big show out in Vancouver for oh, three months. Wow. Guess we have to wait. But you know what? For somebody that's outside, you know, in the audience watching. Would never know this stuff. Never <laughs> noticed it. And, and, and they just the think, oh, the film took X amount of time to be done, yeah. but they don't understand why. It's yeah. correct. Yeah, that's the and part. we're watching, and which is good. I mean, oh, because you look it at the, shows. It's all about the final product. Yes. Yeah. What do people see? I mean, this is just behind the scenes type of how you make a film. I mean, independent film is hard. And specifically doing it on the budget that we did it on, which was really non-existent. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it is about, and, I was, and this is one of the things we learned as the time went on, which is why we didn't just rush, rush it out. out there. Right. I right. mean, there was a lot of time, I think it was about two years in, where, you know, the, everyone at the team at some point were like, oh, I just want this thing to be done. And right. Finish it. Right. But at the same point, too, we just, it wasn't, it, it was one of those things where we just... It wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. And yeah. as much I mean, as you want it to be ready, it wasn't ready. And it's not only with all the challenges you deal with an with independent film, but then you have to deal with the fact that you don't have, you you, you, you want, still want the product to be good. Right, Even course. if you know, God, we're struggling in this, we don't have money for this, we, how are we going to figure out this, how are we going to make this make sense? But at the end, you're like, it doesn't matter. We want the film to be good, so we can't just rush it. And just I agree. Force yeah. it out just because. It's got because be then it quality. represents us. And so you force yourself to just take that much longer, and I'm glad we did because everything turned out. I, I am glad, glad that you did, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. you did, too. So you know, now I'm going... There's no booing. Well, no, there isn't. There was no, no, booing. there was no booing, no. exactly. Yes, well, you definitely need to check it out. So thing. now going forward, since now you've had you've had your screening mm-hmm. at the uh, TIFF Light Box, which was amazing. I took a lot of pictures. There were not a lot of empty seats. No. It was it was fantastic. It did out. really well, and it wasn't just y'all family that was no. in the seats. No. These were legit folks. No. It was amazing. So now that you've had the screening, um, what's going forward? What are you guys going to be doing now in the future? Other than sleep, of course. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Regarding yeah. recall, no, or, or yeah. so far, far from the time. No, what, uh, in <laughs> regards to recall, <laughs> what are you going to be doing in the future, and what are you going to be doing in the future for yourself? Um, for recall, we're just, you know, in negotiations with certain distribution stuff ah. like that. Okay. Um, and for ourselves, just pushing our projects, our okay. you know, our passion besides recall. Ah, uh-huh. so, okay. Yeah. You have passion projects. Yes, uh, Andy and myself have a couple. Okay. And Mike has a TV show. Because I'm also pursuing music. Ah, I've been okay. doing that as we've been working on recall as well. Um, I'm a singer. Oh, you're a singer. Yeah, yeah. My daughter's a drummer. So you never know. Nice. Yeah, and so, yeah, my, and my landlord is a bass player, so you might be wow. able to 
rock it out. Yeah, yeah, come like to the house. Come to the house. I've been working on my craft. There you I'm go. I'm starting to learn the electronic side, like just like producing beats and stuff like that. Perfect. Pretty cool stuff. Lovely. Yeah. Hey, dynamic, these three. I'm glad to have them as family members. Okay. Creators. And so. Mike's also working on some What are you working on? Some big uh, uh, More? So when do you sleep? He's got a passion for I was like, feel sleep. sleep. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you sleep with his eyes open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just don't know him. Like there you go. Like a shark. Yeah. yeah there you go. Sleep. Um, but yeah, as Tommy said, we're we're just pursuing distribution contacts that we have. We've written to a, we we've reached out to a lot. Uh, we have people reviewing it. But the thing with distribution is it's a lot more complicated than people think. I mean, we can go the self distribution mm -hmm. route, um, which can still get us on Netflix and other channels. But, right. Uh, you kind of want the right party to represent you, but at the same point too, it's it's easier said than done. It's not a specifically a genre film. It's not a horror or an action which can sell right. worldwide. So you have to be very careful on what you do. We can only know so much. You know, it's our of first course. feature. We don't know exactly every step of the go. We're we're fortunate enough uh, that we know distribution uh, companies in the city, uh, whether we're partners with them or we, we're friends with them, so that we uh, and even some in, the, in Canada or the states. Just so we can reach out, because a lot of people don't even have. They like, where do I go? What do I do now? Yeah, exactly. But at the same yeah, point yeah. too, it's just Again, because it, it's still easier yeah. said than done. Uh, there's still a lot of things that you don't know, and you're not expected to know. You'll learn them as you go, right. and that's kind of the joy of this industry. And it's yeah. and it does it benefits you as a director or a producer or a writer that you know you as a filmmaker you yeah. you know you, you get learn, to learn you earn as you learn. So yeah, that's and true. That's good. Film Don't festivals, imagine. it'll it'll definitely go well. Film festivals, unfortunately, because of the month that it is, does film festivals submissions to top tier uh, film festivals or mm -hmm. even the ones we even you know the smaller ones smaller ones which are still large like right. Tribeca or whatever. Oh yeah, um, exactly. They you know they're everything kind of dries up until January February. So yeah, you're we're kind of like we're in that weird boat right now where yeah. where we have time to kind of focus on what we need to focus on to kind of like it's been three years right to kind mm -hmm. of focus on what we need to focus on whether it's. Take you know, a break. As actors, like whether it's like auditions or yeah, uh, that makes sense. you know, yeah. Tommy's pursu uh, pursuing the, the, the show and the ideas that he has. I just saw that um, for um, your music video. The oh, yeah. 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 yeah, our Lady Peace. Yeah, yeah. 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 So there's always something. I think they're working on, on, on some stuff together. Um, and it's like, you know what it is? I think it's like anything else. You have time now to kind of focus on that other stuff. It's not that Recall will be kind of pushed aside, but it, it kind of it will have to. Follow its path based on what avail what happens in front of it. Give it, some time you, to marinate. You, sure. There you go. You can have that time to marinate. Well, good. perfect. That's yeah. that's great. All right. So we're going to migrate over to the puppy dog question. Uh, we started this four years ago, and the puppy dog question, the lovelies know, um, it's just like questions that hit my head in the middle of the night, and I'm like, oh, oh I'm going to ask them this. So the one that popped up for me, <laughs> I know, and this was this was last night. I met with um, Matt, um, our videographer. He's awesome, and you can't have him. Shout so yes, Matt. may a yeah. shout out to Matt. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't see him. Yes, but we yes. can. We can yes, see. Yes, we him. can. You know, like mm -hmm. so, I met up with him last night when we were collaborating, working on the, the project, and then yeah. I, I was just like, I'm going home. I'm going to go to bed early, which mm -hmm. early for me is. Midnight, yeah. I mean, because you know, really, he's yeah. he's been out with me yeah. late, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> later, than, later than the day walkers. I'm gonna say like yeah. that. And <laughs> so, when I woke up like at 2 17 in the morning out of a dead sleep, I'm like, Oh, and I asked him this. So, this is your puppy dog question out to all three of you. Okay, what crazy thing would you do for money, and what crazy thing would you do for love? Mm-hmm. Yes. Take that, Barbara Walker. Can, can I go first first? <laughs> yes, you go first. The crazy thing I would do for love yes. is write a song. Oh, it's pretty like, crazy. And probably beat are the you crap saying out of no, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just knuckle it up. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. For money? Oh, not for money. Okay, for well, love. You have been <laughs> for love? Oh, for, you For candy. money, I, I keep it pretty morally correct. Like, I wouldn't go, like pretty far left. But you have to be crazy. You can't take me out of my comfort zone. You gotta be that. crazy. Crazy like, for money. What would you do? Crazy for money. Make a movie. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You, you have there to you go. You have to, to be that. crazy. Yeah, because you, you gotta put money in. Perfect answer. Yeah. Perfect yeah. answer. Yeah. There you go. All right. So, Mike, what, what would you do crazy for love, and what would you do crazy for money? It's probably both the same. 
I'd probably like jump off a plane. [laughs] I terrified of sky- like sc- heights. I'm talking like I'm not talking like some basic free fall. I'm talking like [laughs] the point where you're almost at the atmospheric level where you're probably dead on the way down. But if you just survive [laughs] Oh that is crazy. [inaudible 1:08:34.82] But it's just it works for love and it works for money. [laughs] Oh right. Yeah. Oh that's good. That is good. I don't know if I'd ever do it, but like that'd be crazy. I I, yeah, no, [laughs] Yeah. [laughs] I probably wouldn't. I'd probably be like, "I don't love you that much." [laughs] Yeah, I love you. And I don't want money that much. Yeah. Yeah, I love you too. Cuz if I'm dead, I can't use the money I'd have. Yeah. But yeah, that's hypothetical and hypothetically speaking Yeah. Hypothetically. If I didn't die Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Then that's it. Um [laughs] Me? Oh man, um crazy thing I'd do with my love? Ask her to marry me. And then You'd do that before her? Yeah, that's what I'd do. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's what I'd do too. Oh yeah, that's really [inaudible 1:09:19.15] [laughs] I'd like to check in on that. Yeah, I know. [laughs] Shit, if I just knew that I could just say to somebody, "I'm gonna marry you." Yeah, right? You just said that right? You just said it right. [laughs] Oh yeah. [laughs] And then she'd be like "Okay." Saying it like that, you're like "Yeah." [laughs] Yeah. That's how it works. Is it? It's an agreement. Yeah, it's like an agreement. Uh, ready? Fep. Uh, three. Wait, she's married. She's not married to you, right? No. [laughs] Yeah. He's gotta figure out a way to get that money. [laughs] Um Oh yeah. [laughs] That's not coming off. Okay. [noise] Yeah. He's gotta figure out a way to do that. [laughs] [laughs] That's not coming off. Okay. [laughs] I'm sorry. That won't come off. She'll figure it out. I don't think so. It's not coming off. Okay. [laughs] They're married in real life. This is going straight into her personal life. Yeah. [laughs] Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's actually What's happening here? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'd be down down in the dumps after this. [laughs] Yeah. [laughs] Meanwhile, me and Rochelle are driving to wherever we're going. It's like the most awkward thing ever. But it's like Yeah, but you haven't talked to her or anything right? No, she hasn't told me a thing. Oh. You want her to know that you're doing that? Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh yeah. [laughs] That's awesome. And then she'll probably join you in the dumps. Yeah. Yeah, probably. [laughs] Maybe. You think so, hey? Oh yeah, she probably does. So she's into the dumps, right? So she's probably chatting with you guys about it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. [laughs] 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 What are you doing? Eight hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah I don't know [laughs] [laughs] Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah, I know. Just text me when you're ready. Okay. [noise] [noise] We're gonna do this. Oh, I throw this out already? Yeah. Pretty much. Makes sense. Yeah. Some people do that, right? [noise] Yeah. [laughs] You're such a wiggle bum today. Woah. [laughs] Um. Yeah. 
Um, what are your long term goals for either this or you? Okay. So like separately of this. Um, I or do you always carry on? no. I've always been raised because my mother is a physical therapist at the local hospital in Kansas, and she always raised us girls to always have the one three five plan. What are you gonna do in a month? What are you gonna do in three months? What are you gonna do in five months? What are you gonna do in a year? What are you gonna do in three years? What are you gonna do in five years? And so that has been ingrained in in us because she unfortunately now you don't do it now as much now because with all of the the racial tension that's in the South, um, we were always raised, you've got two, two stripes against you if you're black and you're female. In the state, that's the way it is, and that's the way it was. Um, it's getting better. It's getting better. Thank you, Oprah. <laughs> it's getting better. So my goal for the show is to get a little bit more uh, cohesive with the industry and making sure that y'all are getting the the publicity and that that um, the vision on you more than what it is now. It's just kind of like grassroots right now. No, I have to have it all. I have all of, everybody's got to be watching. I have a really good base in Australia, which is just I mean I'm wow. so honored. Love y'all. Um, you know, United States and in Canada, they just like my accent. It's so weird, but. <laughs> But that's that's my goal is to really make it conducive, you know that it's a go-to um, for myself. Um, let's see, and my one three five plan is um, next year. In one year, I want to be on a channel that's going to be doing the show on a regular basis, um, like Chelsea Handler. Um, in three years. I really want to be holding up my Emmy Award for Broadcast Excellence. On um, the fifth year, I want to have uh, another location of SRC Media, which is the production house for the show, have at least five more other shows up underneath the umbrella, and we'll just n nothing but focus on straight up for this is for acting. This one, this show is for the arts and culture. This one is for fashion. This one is for, for music. I want to make sure that everybody is out there that's struggling, they get the advertisement instead of having to break their back on going on, you know, game shows. Yeah. It just, it just needs it. You know, that's, yeah. that's what I'm doing and I will do it. So it'll be written. So it'll be done. There you go. to exist one. <laughs> That's right. Throw it out to the universe. Wow. And yeah, you, would, you really know what you want. Um, yes, I do. What do you want to know? Well, my question was going to be, like, do you see yourself doing a show like that, like a daytime talk show or yeah. even something greater than that? Because I actually see, like, a mix between, like, Oprah and Tyra Banks. And, uh, <laughs> I get that a lot, yeah. But, um, my thing is I want longevity, too. Throwing in with with Oprah and, and Tyra, Ellen helps a lot of people mm -hmm. that are off of YouTube. And YouTube now is doing a lot of changing, so I want to make sure that I'm incorporated with knowing the trends that are going down correctly, which, yeah. you know, another shout out to Matt, of course. Um, yeah, he's, he's that brain trust. And throw it in the longevity of Barbara Walters. She was our start. She was that one. I mean, you know, the Barbara Walters special, I, I still go back to the one where she was interviewing uh, Clint Eastwood, and she said that was the most nervous time ever because she had a crush on him a little bit. And it's like when you watch it, it's like just seamless. And when she even when she uh, <laughs> she caused uh, Lady Gaga to kind of get flustered when she read her lyrics about bluffing with her muffin, and she was like, "Oh my God, it's <laughs> Barbara Walters," you know, and it's like. Like talking to my mom, you know, and I exactly, and I have to have that. I mean, because she's she was always that one that was that quintessential uh, talent that made everyone at ease. Yeah, and that's what I wanted. That's, that's what I have cool. to do. I've never heard I kind of see that 2020 specials exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, those are actually yeah. Really, I mean, because I that was my whole thing when I when I started the show. I wanted it to be relevant and legit. Mm -hmm. And I studied back from Alan Parr and Johnny Carson, um, Phil, Phil Donahue, uh, Rolanda, Sally Jesse Raphael, 
um, Ricky Lake. Ricky then, Lake. Yeah, Ricky I mean, Lake. yeah, I mean, I was, I dug through Bill all Cunningham, of it. Bill yeah. Murray. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Bill Cunningham. You know, and these are people, I just, you know, I took the, the good bits yeah. and, you know, left the dirty bits on the floor. Yeah, that's true. And, and integrated it in. And I'm always wanting to learn. And it's like, even when I, I hit back, you know, people that I interviewed, you know, four years ago, and it's like, guys, I want you to come back on. And yes. tell your story and say, you know, this is what I did and this is what I accomplished. This is where I'm at now. And this is where I'm at now. And, like that. and wherever that they see little quirks and cracks, tell me. I, you know, criticism is, is no big thing. I'm not going to, I'm not going to grow if y'all don't, ed, if y'all don't educate me. Yeah. Education Definitely. and communication is the key. You have to be open to it. Oh, I am. No, I definitely see it in you. I, I see am. all different pieces of different things. <laughs> really you. nice to Thank see. Thank you. And if it's you need vibe. me to, you know, go on your press junket and you know, hype, be your hype girl, I, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerleader. <laughs> yes, I really appreciate y'all taking the time out to Stick come around. out. Can I just ask one more thing? Yeah. What brought you to Toronto? Oh. <laughs> That's what I wanted to. Really work. Uh, it was work. It was. Um, it, we had a little bit of trauma. Uh, within my career and personal life and we were living in Chicago. We lived there for almost nine years and um, we had an opportunity to either go to California. Anthony's car is moving. Dinner's ready. Dinner's, D dinner's ready. Okay. All right. All right. We had an opportunity to either go to California or Toronto and I had visited here in 2004 and just fell in love with it. Yeah. I mean, it's so parallel to Chicago, but cleaner and nicer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was just, was it, it was just it. it. Was it we don't have that pizza here, though. Visit, yeah. Unfortunately. I no came DC. during Caravana. Ah. Okay. But it wasn't hot. It rained almost every <laughs> other day. We looked like drowned still, rats. Still better than the snow. Oh, yeah. But, but I mean, but Chicago. Now. But yeah. Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Got Chicago got really worked. Uh, no, I'm sorry. City. I'm sorry. Minnesota is worse. I mean, yeah, it was just like pile on, pile on, pile on. It was like, oh my god, right. like, I can handle this. This is easy. But <laughs> yeah, but it was, yeah, it was work, and it was an opportunity. I, I, I always tell people, um, you know, and Matt has heard this too, where <laughs> I had to come to Canada to get my American dream. Isn't that Let funny? that marinate. But it's true. And it's only getting better here. It is. It really is. It is. It's gonna yeah. grow. Like it's Toronto is on the uprise. It is. And and I'm really blessed to be the Kansas Canadian. And um I'm <laughs> very I'm very proud of it. And it's trademarked. You can't have it. Can't have that. No. Can't have it. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for y'all. When you come back from Sundance, can you please come and pop by? <laughs> come sure, and say, sure. hey, sure. girl, how you doing? So, yeah. We're doing good. How are All you? right, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, yes. And thank you again, lovelies. Make sure you check out the movie Recall, wherever that it's at. I will make sure that you know where it is. And do you guys have, like, a website or something? How, they can, how can they find you? And find the movie. Andy's you Instagram. Know. No, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the lack thereof. The lack thereof. <laughs> uh, um, it's a little tricky because we don't actually have a website for the film right now. Okay. Um, just with everything, but we Facebook have. Page. Yeah, it's, we have a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, we have a, a recall Facebook page, which on there you can obviously find the, the trailer and everything else. The film obviously Perfect. is not screened publicly right now. Okay. Because it's going to film festivals and, and, mm. and distribution, but. That makes um, sense. Yeah, I mean, it's being sent to, you know, distributors or producers. That's different. Okay. Um, so, so publicly it's not available, but the trailer is, and yes. obviously you can... The trailer, yeah. The trailer so, is. So, so check them out the on the Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. Check them out on the Facebook page. Any changes, page. we'll let you know. We'll put it listed. And um, everything is fantastic with y'all. I, I just, I'm so happy and so blessed right. that y'all are within... The family circle. So Southern hot yeah, now you now you're like stuck that. with me. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you. Yes, lovely. Well, uh, chicken fingers. Chicken no. fingers. Yeah, we'll call them chicken fingers. Yes. Oh, <laughs> the cowbell. No, the, the mountain. The mountain <laughs> oysters. Mountain yeah. oysters. Oh. No, lovelies, and thank you for always, you know, supporting us and supporting the arts. Make sure his true talent is out there. You make sure you back him up. And as always, as I say, take good care of you. Know that you are loved. And I'll see y'all out and about.